Welcome to PLZ Soccer, this is your Scottish News Bulletin on Wednesday. Rangers manager Steven Gerrard insists he plans to stay at Ibrox for a long time after praising the backing he has received from chairman Dave King. The former Liverpool captain was given a four-year deal in the summer and so far has guided his team to the group stage of the Europa League and second position in the Premiership. Speaking at the club's AGM yesterday, King himself said that he expects the Jers to make more signings and also sell some players this January. Gerard has already overhauled the squad, spending over £10 million on 15 new players in the summer, but King said that the focus is on bringing in quality, not quantity. He added that he would not reverse his decision to limit Celtic to 800 fans when they visit Ibrox at the end of December. Elsewhere at the AGM, Rangers managing director Stuart Robertson hit back at Celtic's Brendan Rodgers after he had defended Celtic's right to celebrate in front of rival fans by insisting that players have a responsibility to be very careful about their actions during and after games. The behaviour of the Hoop squad came under sharp scrutiny after a police memo claimed they had provoked an angry response from Rangers fans after their old firm win earlier this season. However, Celtic goalkeeper Scott Bain says he and his colleagues merely carried out their usual post-match routine and did nothing wrong. Bain also insisted that the vastly reduced number of tickets given to away fans will only make a festive winner Ibrox taste even sweeter. Motherwell star Chris Cadden has been ruled out of action for four months after tearing his patella tendon. The Scotland under-21 star suffered the injury during his side's 7-1 defeat to Rangers a fortnight ago and he saw a specialist earlier this week. And there were two Scottish Cup replays last night, with Montrose beating Annan 4-3 in an enthralling game and Morton progressing with a 3-0 win over Peter Head. I'll give you a quick look at Wednesday morning's papers. The record go for Scott Bain on beating Rangers, as I spoke about earlier. Sun have Falkirk's Denon Lewis hitting back at his racial abusers. And the Daily Mail's headline is Firm Stance over Dave King's position on Celtic's ticket allocation. To keep up with all of these stories, as well as English and world football news, visit our website plzsoccer.com and don't forget we have a football show special tonight with Darren Young at 6 o'clock.